Today we are replacing the power window motor and regulator on the driver's door on this 85 square body Chevy. While we're at it, I'll also show you how to get the door panel off. I'll try and be as detailed as possible and go as quickly as possible because I know your time's valuable. Here are the tools you're going to need to complete this job. You're going to need a ratchet with a 7 16 socket. Either of these will work fine. <laughs> I use this one, but you can easily use that one. You're going to need a body panel removal tool or a flat blade. I suggest getting one of these. You definitely need a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need some white lithium grease. And you probably need a hammer, and you'll see why in the video. And I almost forgot. You definitely need some tape. First things first, we're going to take some tape, and we're going to tape this window up. You want to tape it in a couple different places. Really don't want this to move on us. All right, that'll do it. You can start with the door lock knob. It just twists off. I've just got this little plastic container to throw things in. If you still have the strap on your door, you need to pry the cover off and then take out these two screws and this one. We gotta get this door handle plate off. There's two screws in here. Those out, you can just pull this back. The screw right in here. Now we've got four along the bottom. One, two, three, and four. We are not taking the carpet piece off at all. There are also two down in here. We just want to get the screws loose. Don't try and take this off. Now we're almost loose. We need to use our door clip removal tool. There's one on this side, the one on the other side. This one lines up basically with this. On this side, it lines up with this pocket screw. There are clips along this edge, so it's a bit of a pain to get this thing out. But it does lift straight up. Once you get this side up, then you can work on the other. So you don't want to take it up all the way, just up enough so you know it's up. All right. Now that we're off, you're going to take this little blue plastic nut off of here, off that one, and then off the other one, off our switches. And then gently pull these off. Just rock them back and forth. They're probably stuck on pretty well. You could probably pry these off with a screwdriver, but uh, make sure you've disconnected the battery if you do that. I'm sure you've done that, right? All right, door panel is successfully off. Take this paper off because this is the hole we're going through. And I'm going to clean the door up real quick. The 40 years of mud gone, let's take a few things off. We need to take this piece off. We also need to take our door handle loose. You do not need to take this piece off, but I'm going to anyways, just to get this out of the way a little bit more. It'll be easier to video. Gives me a little more room for the camera and for my arm. Next up, we need to get the electrical connector off the power window motor, which easier said than done. So I'm over on the passenger side just so I can show you the electrical connector. This is what goes into the back of that motor. It will not come out all the way like this because it's connected to screws down at the bottom, which I've disconnected just so I could pull this connector out to show you. Uh, you have to do this kind of blind. You reach all the way in and push down on the back as pretty much as hard as you can and then pull this out. That'll lift up on this clip here on the front and release it. If this is broken for some reason, well, you're just gonna have to pry this up with a little pick or something. Not the easiest, but also not the hardest once you know how it works. All right, this is a little difficult to see. Well, a little difficult to film at any rate. Reaching underneath it, pushing in that tab and pulling straight back. And that's off now.
This is interesting. These bolts are loose already. So when I bought this truck, it came with two power window motors. Now it also needs regulators. But I guess the previous owner attempted to get this out and couldn't do it. And then didn't put it back together all the way before he sold it to me. But that's okay. Moving on. Okay, we're going to take off this nut, this nut, a bolt here. And this bolt's missing, but uh, hopefully yours has it. Mine are loose, so I'm just going to take them right on off. Yeah, they made a huge mess. These studs are pretty jacked up on this door, but what we've got to do is push this out. Uh, on the passenger door, I had to put a, I had to put a nut back on here and then hammer it out. I don't know that'll be the case on this side. We're replacing the regulator though, so I don't really care if I mess up those threads. Just gonna use the big hammer. So our old window regulator is in here about like this. So we're gonna push this forward to drop this roller off the track. Then this roller here has a little window in the rail that you can pull it out with. Then we'll just slide the whole thing back and this one will come off the back of this rail. All right, here's our little window on this rail for this roller. We're just gonna push the... Oh, this thing is so messed up. Really not happy. There. The front. So our front just dropped off. Move you to our window. And we're off now. See, we're off the rail there. Now we're just going to slide the whole assembly back. We're going to take this roller arm and just pull it up. Like that. We're gonna wiggle this whole assembly out of here. We gotta put the camera down to do that. All right, we are out. Here's our old regulator and our new regulator. And the old motor and the new motor that I still need to put on, as I mentioned, this truck came with the motors, but definitely needs regulators. Why does it need regulators, you say? Well, I can't, that one spins a little bit. This one doesn't spin at all. It is seized, not moving. It should move pretty freely. You see how freely this new one moves. We will hit those with some white lithium grease though before it goes in. Hopefully you bought a motor and regulator assembly that's already put together and you don't have to put anything together. If you're in the same boat I am, it's pretty easy. You just uh, take the bolts out, put the bolts in. Well, you got to put some bolts on this little plate right here, but not a whole lot to it. And then some grease here and grease here. All right, our new motor's on. It's just the three bolts. I greased this up as well. Again, <laughs> you bought the whole motor regulator together, so you don't need to do any of that. We are going to use some white lithium grease on here. And on our other two. And most importantly, we're going to hit the tracks in the door. So when somebody had this door apart, I think that's all they did was try and grease the tracks. But I grease those front to back in this track here as well. So this is going to go back together the same way it came out. First, we're going to put this one on from the back. Then we're going to put this one on over here. And then we'll get this one all the way on the front. So it's just reversing everything. To get it in, remember you've got to fold this up like this. You know this is the one that goes to the inside of the door because the rollers on the inside, the top two, go to the outside. So let's take this up. We're going back through the hole. It can be a little tight.
All right. Now that we're in, we're going to swing this one down. Now we've swung this down, and it's going to go right into this rail. Now we're in. We're going to keep going forward. All right. We should be in the rail now. We are. Now we've got to swing that front arm up onto the track. There's really not an easy way to show you how to do that. Basically, you have to reach in here and pivot that whole assembly up and get that roller onto the track. I can't do it and film at the same time. Okay, hopefully you can see that, but we've got our slider on. You're going to want to make sure that it moves pretty freely. Just be sure you don't push it back off the track. What we need to do next is get one of the two studs into the hole. Now, if you look, you can see this one is really close. The other one is nowhere near close. Do not panic. Go ahead and get this one in. Get that in as much as you can. Now, how do we get the other one in? So don't panic. There is a trick to this. And no, it's not cutting slots. All right, with our one stud basically in, we need to reach down, plug our wire back in to the motor. It's definitely easier when you got a light on it. To get this second stud in place, we're going to go ahead and hook up our power window switch for a moment. We're just going to get that on there a little bit. Then we're just going to hit our switch. If you see here, our studs are moving. Now they're in. That's how you get these back in place. It's definitely not by cutting slots in it and messing up the bolt holes. So now we're going to put our nuts on here. And I'm not going to completely tighten them. I may have to do some more adjusting. Okay. I do not need to do any more adjusting. Let me turn the key off. Take a look. Our bottom bolts have lined up now as well. So we're going to put those in. Yeah, unlike the previous person that worked on this, I'm going to go ahead and make sure these are tight. But everything else goes back together the way you took it off. Okay, with all this done, it's time to put the door panel back on. These just go on the way they came off. I'm really only putting this on temporarily because I've got some repairs I need to make to this door panel. Same on the other side. You gotta put this on, make sure you pull the door handle. Now we can take our tape off. And if we did everything right, it's not gonna come crashing down. And it, it's not gonna come crashing down. All right, did we do this right? Let's find out. Look at that. Beautiful. Bit of a close-up view. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to get back to you. And also hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, and I'll, I'll see you all down the road. Here's some bonus footage for you. Look at that. Oh. That is... Bad motor, right? Nope. That's a brand new motor with a bad regulator. There's our completed door, even the windows work, and we've got a strap now, so that's nice.